Everybody, welcome. It's a game where everybody wins, cause that's fun. These are always my least favorite mini games. I actually like. I love these ones, cause everybody wins. No, I want everyone yes. to die. I want all my friends and family to be like, damn, that was a good session of Mario Party. Fuck it. Hey, everybody, it's Let's Plop. I'm Nico with Shaded. All right, cool. He's streaming and I'm recording. Oh, that's, that's a new one, actually. First yeah. time on Let's Plop. All right, okay. Just remember when, whenever you fuck. Whenever you fuck, whenever you play Mario Party 1, just be, be wary of the raft game. Wait, why wouldn't you just do like a full like hour upload? Just be weary. Doesn't that make more sense? No! Because then people are more prone to sit down and watch an hour of Mario Party. No! Yes, that's how it's done. No, I, you know how I do it. You know how I do it, boo. <laughs> I know, but like, why wouldn't you just make like longer sessions? Just... Let me live. <laughs> All right, I'll just let you live. Because right. it's supposed to be the old Yo, school in, way. Type in the chat box below the YouTube. This is where it's going, right? <laughs> yeah, type it's, in the comments if you think Nico should have extended videos. No, they're like 10 to 15 minutes. It's like old school shit. They're like nice little samples. The future is now, old man. I, well, I'm trying to bring the past back. I'm trying to bring back nah, the glory the days. Already, the nerd already did that, all right? He already takes us there. Yeah, well, <laughs> my grandfather's beard says otherwise. Yeah. By the way, they're about to fuck. Well, my anime collection says that I haven't showered in at least two years. That's the heart of the cards right there. Yep. God, dude. When I open my finder, I want my opponents to smell everything I've embodied for several years. Oh, that's gross, dude. Yeah, I want them to pull out Dark Magician and go, yo, how much for Dark Magician? And I, and I want them to be like, yeah, I know I know you smell that garlic potato on that card. Yeah, well, first of all, Shady, you wouldn't even get the binder open because there's so much semen on it. Whoa. I mean, I guess, yeah. Yeah, there's no guessing. Have you seen, have you seen Yu-Gi-Oh cards lately, man? Uh, yeah, they're... It's... All, the, all the demons and monsters are just hot ch chicks or like little lollies and shit. Let it's crazy. All right, let me tell you something. Hot take. This is an actual hot take. Yu-Gi-Oh! nowadays is hot garbage. Oh my fucking balls, dude. <laughs> like you're one. All I get is ones. I fucking laughed nah, at you. I think, uh, I think Yu-Gi-Oh! is pretty cool no! in terms of like a lot of cards. Listen! However, okay, all right, no, you no, go. No. All right, you However, go. I cannot play Yu-Gi-Oh! today. That's there what I'm saying! So much shit to that game. If that's, they made a classic Yu-Gi-Oh, I'd yes. play that. That's okay. That's exactly okay. All right, we're we've we've had a compromise, it's, ladies it's and gentlemen. It's not because I'm a boomer. It's because no, it's insane. You, I've you, seen YouTube it. YouTube turn one and turn one's like ten minutes of a guy going through his entire deck to like link summon and fusion summon and tribute summon, and he does like ten minutes of going through like eighty cards. It's so and fucking then, dumb. Turn two, if his opponent just can't beat it, that's literally the game. Yeah, that's how like fast Yu-Gi-Oh is right now. It's like it's like fast, but too long for its own good. Well, that's the thing. I watched Act Man did a video on Yu-Gi-Oh, and it pretty much just said everything we're saying right now and how ridiculous it is to play. That's why. That's why I want to get into fucking Pokemon cards again because Pokemon has been the same for so long, and the cards are sweet. I have, I have no idea how to how much pokemon even costs to get into i mean you just buy a simple starter deck i just know like the old pokemon isn't there like pokemon online and shit you could play i think so and with the uh, cards and then you buy the real cards and you can put the codes in and stuff uh, that i don't know i think you've been watching Yu Gi Oh too much no that's like from max mofo and stuff because he gives away the cards give away this guy's cholesterol stat okay but yeah, you just go to just go to Walmart and just buy. I guess, a I guess as deck. long as you're not collecting the, I, I guess it's just old Pokemon, right? Because it's all the nostalgia crazy guys buying it. Like uh, a four thousand dollar original Bulbasaur, right? <laughs> like that you're buying that because it's in a box from twenty years ago, oh, and it's yeah. like nostalgic. 
But yeah, I don't. I don't think Pokemon today. I think you're right. I think it's pretty cheap, actually, for the I mean, most part. Yeah, I, it, because for one, like I said, you just go to Walmart or Target or whatever. Go to the card section. You buy starter decks. There's like two in a pack. Uh, like Rev says the game's called Pokemon Trading Card Game Live, so you can play online and put like the codes in from the packs. Oh, that's too much so work. If you get into Pokemon and you buy stuff, you could save the codes and then you could play online too. I don't want to do that's that. That's pretty hype. That's too much that's... fucking work. Why do I want to scan cards into this online no, thing? No, no, no. You, you don't scan the cards. You just scan the one code in the pack. Oh. Like, you just put the code in, and then it gives you what was in the pack, I think. All right. By the way, you have 103 coins. Yeah, because I haven't been moving. I've just been winning. <laughs> hey, shots oh, fired. God. What an eight. What an eight. You know what, Shaded? You're an eight. You're such an eight, no. bro. When you got your hair cut, you became a 10. But now your hair's growing back, slowly turning. <laughs> I know. Now I'm just a beanie boy, and I love it. You're just an 80. Um, what the heck am I even going to take? Fucking, okay. Sheesh. Double dice might be your best bet. If I get double ones, I swear. Snake eyes. All right, so, yeah, I've been wanting to get into Pokemon recently because uh, the rules haven't changed. It's not like Yu-Gi-Oh is nowadays where you got to fucking blow your brains out after one turn. I actually played yeah. it. My friend bought a deck, or like a this like big decks deck box uh, box set, and we played it. And I was like, "All right, this is not bad." Now, granted, I never really cared to play the game in the first place. I really just want to collect the cards again. Bro, you should pick up some Flesh and Blood. You'd probably like that. What the fuck, Flesh and Blood? Yeah, it's a card game where you collect it, and you don't really like. It's like every card's meant to just be played. Okay. And you can you buy like a booster box, uh -huh. open packs, and then you can just like play. And what's cool is that the uh, reason it's called Flesh and Blood is because they want you to like play in person and stuff. I don't even think there's an online version. And uh, the cards look really cool, and a lot of people have started to get into it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I think it's all like really affordable. What's the, okay? Fle flesh and blood. All right. Yeah. I'll keep that in it mind. It looks pretty cool. All right, all right. So, what's the um? Give me the scoop on current day Magic: The Gathering. What's going on with Magic? Is it pulling a um, Yu-Gi-Oh where it's impossible to fucking keep up? No, Magic's actually pretty chill for the most part. You can play like Arena. My buddy's about to play in that Black Lotus tournament, which is nuts. <gasps> I remember you were telling me that. Um, That's insane. But yeah, it's uh, if you like the sets and worlds they're going to, you're gonna like it. I've always with Magic, like sometimes I take a break if I'm not a big fan of like what the set is or where they're taking it. Yeah. And then other times I'm like, oh, this set's really cool. I'm going to get back into Magic. Um, well, that's cool. But yeah, it's uh, it's just fun. And there's so many different modes you can play. Yeah. Prepare you can to get do, like 60 cards, 40 cards. You can do like Popper, which is commons and uncommons. Oh, that's there's, cool. There's like actual tournaments for that like $15 decks at best and people Ooh. try to figure out how to make OP stuff out of like the basic stuff well fuck me I'm gonna be uh well I'll stick to Pokemon first until I get bored of that yeah no magic's sick yeah I grew up playing magic before Pokemon so fucking A oh my god I'm sucking balls sucking balls get it everybody I'm sucking balls he's sucking balls oh I beat my record Wow, I suck at that one. Well, you know, you were going on the whole magic rant. Not rant, oh, yeah, the whole Pokemon's magic speech. the easiest card game to play today. That makes sense. Thank God. I want to fucking play against a five-year-old, pretty much. That's what my mentality is these days. Yeah, the cards are, they look pretty cool, too. I think Pokemon does a pretty good job with like, their presentation. All right, listen. Hear me out. Something, I think, what actually triggered my inspiration to collect them... I went to this local like festival near me that comes every third Friday of the month. And there's this yeah. there's a stand, there's a bunch of stands up and everything. And one of the stands has this this couple that make like like uh anime stickers, uh what is it? Um mouse pads, like they do like graphic art with anime designs on it and stuff. So you put the anime uh stickers on your bottle or designs on your bottles or something, water bottles that you can buy. Stickers, mouse pads, T-shirts, so you know a bunch of graphic art stuff. So I bought a, I bought like a Naruto sticker, and they gave me 
a three card Pokemon pack. It was like Halloween edition for free. And guess oh, yeah. guess what I got when I opened promotion it? Promotion items. Yes. What'd you get? I got a holographic Gengar in that oh, motherfucker. Oh nice. Yeah. That's sick. And I was like, I think I might start collecting again. <laughs> yeah, and the nice part about Pokemon too is like they're when like you open a binder, the artwork's pretty chill. Oh, and you fuck can just yeah. like you're like, yeah, I that's a Blastoise and it looks sick. <laughs> yeah, you know what was the coolest shit they did back in the day is when they had Team Rocket cards, dude. Oh yeah, I think I had some of those. I had a, I had Team Rocket uh, like holographic Charizard, and want to know what's crazy? When Pokemon now I don't know if it was like this with Gen One, but when Gen Two was coming out, like Heart Gold, uh, gold and Silver, the cards in America were only yes. in Japanese at first. They did not have English translation yet. That came after the Japanese car. So I remember I went with my mom and bought a fuck ton of booster packs. They were all in Japanese. So I oh, absolutely... there was also a lot of fake cards back then too. Yeah, yeah, that too. Where you'd get like, you go to the flea market and get like uh -huh. a pack and you'd open it and they're all just clearly printed and shit. Yeah, and you they're easy to tell too. Like the, the, the go-to thing is looking at the numbers. Because like the, uh, the health... Uh, uh, number count that they have did you did you ever go to like a corner store and they'd have like Ooh. you know how like you'd put a quarter in and gumballs would pop out but instead of gumballs it'd be like stickers and like yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh cards oh i think i do and like i put a quarter <laughs> in and i got obelisk the tormentor but it Holy was clearly shit. it was in a different language it was clearly just like not official at all like it was a hundred percent fake shitty photoshop I, yeah i yeah and like they would just look all weird and uh <laughs> at the time though it was like yo i just paid a quarter and got obelisk like i don't know what he says or does but this is sick as fuck <laughs> i remember that i mean i think the cards were just like that anyway where you could even read what the fuck it said on the card it's like some weird hieroglyphic like Yu-Gi-Oh oh, language fuck. i hate this uh, game i'm so bad at this wait did we just guess yep but computer always knows Fucking Wario? Oh my gosh, see? How Wait, he... what? He should get caught. That's bullshit. Because he's barely holding down on the joystick, let's say. That's so lame. Well, well, bastard. well. He's cheating. He's so cool. I'm so... I'm so dead. Good night, everyone. Oh, I actually survived that? No way. Oh, I did see that rev. That was ridiculous. Oh, nice. You did it, dude. Yay, second place. <laughs> that one's hard, man. It is it's hard. It's weird because, like, you, you kind of just guess when he's going to wake up. Yeah, it's RNG. There's Fuck. no, like, time or anything, right? It's just well, random. This is random, and I always lose on it. Hey, folks, that's going to be it for this episode. Does everyone say <sighs> bye? Oh, we let the dog in.